they've been pitching us fairy tales at the uni. <laughs> like it was a megalopolis. What do you mean? It's a beautiful town. Patriarchal. <laughs> and people must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Go home! Come on, go home! You lazy drunk! Go home! Go, go away! Let him say. My name is Catherine, I'm your immediate supervisor. And this right here is my domain. If you need anything, please let me know. This is the art room. It's just been renovated. So please be careful. Look at this. Which one of you is the artist? Me, Ruthlana. Ruthlana, welcome. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Get students, get a group. Just keep an eye on them. They're such a wild bunch. Don't look at them as art students. We've got music here. I had an internship, it's okay, I can do it. Oh, internship. <laughs> the instrument is old and broken. We had one musician last year, but she ran away. No one has played since. When you want to run away, give me a warning. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? You're young, educated girls, after university. Nowadays, no one even takes referrals, and you did. Tell me, why did you come here? Mm, well, it's our personal business, yeah? Really? I'm your principal, now it's my personal business too. We... Uh, really just don't care where we go. Uh, Gail doesn't get along with her parents, so she decided not to go home. We shared a dorm room for three years, so I always go wherever she goes. It's more fun together, and we can support each other. Okay, come on. I'll show you the auditorium. That's it, barely cleaned it all out. Uh, it's a miserable dorm. And the furnishings are mediocre old stuff. <laughs> Though we have our separate rooms. You have to see the positive side of things. You have to be realistic. By the way, why did you tell Catherine about my parents? <laughs> Gal, it's not good to argue with the principal on the first day. We still have a lot of work to do. Yeah? Is sticking your nose in other people's lives a good thing? She can't be changed. But you can make an enemy. Do we need this? <sighs> yeah, you're right. We don't need it. And, overall, it's not a bad story. Yeah? Yeah. I have a fancy office. You can see the artists are appreciated here. <laughs> In that case, why don't you and I go to a local disco tonight? Gal, can you imagine what kind of music they're twerking to, huh? Who is that? She's pretty, right? 
Did you like her? You're right. No, Come on. Crazy? Go on. Come on. Go 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 on. Excuse me. I'm sorry. No big deal. So, can I ask you to dance? To dance? This one? Well, okay. I'll go. No, it's okay. Yeah? Stay. My name is Peter. That's great. I'm an excavator operator. That's great. Oh, look who's here, Mike Shaft himself. Hey, Mikey, come here. Tell me more about yourself, Peter. How long are you going to stay A with us? A few days, yeah. Finally, come join us. We meet Hey, you. everyone. It's been a while. Know what to say. Uh... It's good to see you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hey, play something funky. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's more like it. Hey, who's that girl? Her? Yeah. It's people. Yeah, that's right. She is. <laughs> Go get her! Look at her. She's showing off. She thinks she's the coolest. Your friend is a great dancer. Yes. You went to school together? Yeah, something like that. Mm. Enough for today? Hmm? See ya. See ya, take care. Leaving so soon? You got a new car? Yeah. Get in, I'll give you a ride. Do you make good money? I'm not complaining. Hmm. So, what do you think, girls? No thanks, I don't ride with strangers. Hey, uh, what if go. we get acquainted? Uh, some other time, huh? Huh? Uh -huh. All right. Bye. But who's this guy? It's Mike. Don't mind him. He's like that with everyone. Like what? Like that. He went up north three years ago to work. And sometimes he comes and stays with his father. Wait a minute. He'll hang out with everyone he knows. Fool all the girls and then he'll go back to his place. That's him, all right. <laughs> He's you not know? married? And he never will be. <laughs> Got it. Um, we're here. So, thank you for seeing us off. Well, yeah, it's not always that quiet around here. If you need anything, I'll show you the city. Can I visit you? Maybe 
Sometime? Please? Sure. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, write it down for me. I'll bring it tomorrow. I can't. Irina, why? You know me. I have money at home. Auntie Gilly, I can't. The owner came by and scalded me. Irina, you have no shame in torturing an old lady. What will I do? Pay myself? How much do you need? Fifty rubles. No, no need. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Come with me. I'll give it back to you right away. You don't have to return anything. Stop it. <sighs> I'm not used to living from other people's money. I have a pension. Come with me. All right. Give me the bag. Let's go. Let's go. Is that you? Were you in the war? No, that's my mom. She and my father, they left together. I was just a child. Ah, I stayed with my grandmother. But she was killed in a bombing raid. And my parents too. They died in the war. My mother... <laughs> Yes. Please, take it. And thank you for helping me out. Come on, Come on don't take do it. that. Okay. Do you want some tea? No, you know I'm in a hurry. Oh, I guess it's visitor's day today. <laughs> oh, Mikey. Hello. Thank you for coming. I came, as I promised. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> It's my neighbor, Mike. He came to help me fix the stove. Oh, uh, hi. Mm, hello. And Gilly, you never said you had such acquaintances. And I'm lucky to meet people. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, I'm going to make some tea. No, I'll fix it first, and then you can put it on. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me go for the cookies now. Oh! Another guest! <laughs> it looks like it. I told you! <laughs> you really do have a visiting day. <laughs> she always does. Does she? Well. What? Shall we go fix the stove? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Mary, come in. Steam milk. Thank you. Oh. So, how are you doing, Mary? Uh, Auntie Gil. I don't know. He hasn't called or shown up in two weeks. Is he all right there? Oh, honey, you know he's young. He finally got out of the mother's house. Smelled freedom. No, my heart is worried. Auntie Gilly, read my fortune. <sighs> Come into the room. Come on. Does she really know how to tell fortune? I don't know. Ask her. Hand me the mm. screwdriver, please. Mm. Uh, which one? Give me both. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so... How often do you help your neighbors? No, only Aunt Gilly. She worked in our school as checkroom attendant. You know, if you're hungry, she'll feed you. If you need help, she'll help you. Only her. Well, yes, I also notice she's a really nice person. Yeah. Um, 
Hold this, please. <laughs> sure. You give it here. Uh huh. Let's see. Oh, it works. So, what are you, a plumber? What? Well, Gasman. Are you serious? All right, I'm serious. I'm an oilman. <laughs> okay. That's great. Will you be here long? I don't know. I haven't decided. That's it. It's fixed. <laughs> oh, nice, Mikey. That's Tavros. Been banging on the piano again. And she won't get tired of it. Catherine, a musician has to practice every day. And there's no instrument in the dormitory. She can't play quieter. It gives me a headache. Your talent, it's very beautiful. The flowers are so pretty. You understand art very well. Ah. Oh. You have a keen sense of it. Well, sort of. Tell you what. I'll give you some advice about kids, how to recruit them. There's a trick to that. What do you think? There are no paints. The brushes are all shabby. What am I going to work with? Let them draw with their fingers. There is such a technique. Are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah? Fingers instead of brushes mm -hmm. and spit instead of paint? With this one. Listen. Mm. Why are you so cheerful? Me? <laughs> I'm not cheerful at all. It's nothing. Nothing? Nah. Mm. You smile like you've been given a pound of candy. Just like that. And drop your rag. Let's go home. Work shift's over. Um, go ahead. I'll clean up some more. Clean? Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. All Bye. right. Bye. It must be very cold over there. It's okay. Well, I should probably go. Wait. I'll come back another time. Don't go yet. Gail will be here any minute. Mm-hmm. Can't you uh, call her? Call her? Uh... No. I have a cell phone in my room and I don't remember her number by heart. <laughs> mm-hmm. I should go now. Hello? Hey, Gail. I just um, decided to stop by. <laughs> well, come in. All right. <laughs> Are you coming? Coming. I'm recruiting a group. <laughs> we'll draw. Mm. Mm going sluggishly so far. <laughs> mm, have you painted before? Mm, planes. Cars, krauts, and burning tanks. Mm. Do you know how talented Lana is? Lana, why are you sitting there? Show him your drawings. <laughs> Go get him. I'll get it. Yeah. Ooh. Here. Let me help you. I can handle it. Here, here. And this one here. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Here. Look. Check this out. Okay. Oh, oh. Look. I can tell you're an artist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, yeah? And here's more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't hit me! <laughs> run! You better run! Ouch! What? Oh, be careful! <laughs> Look, it's Peter! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it! I was holding him face Are you down, holding Wait, his I'll legs! Be right go, with go. <laughs> Hi! Hello, taking a hey, walk? Hey! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great! Mm -hmm. That's right? Yeah, enjoying the air! <gasps> Guys, the bungee cord. Shall we jump? I don't think you should. The construction is too flimsy. Are you scared or something? Mm, I jumped once. It was enough for me. Yeah? Uh-huh. All right, you stay and I'll jump. Gail, are you scared? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come back later. Are you coming? She's a badass. <laughs> yeah. See how it's done. I'll be right back. Okay. You got me. We'll jump together. But let's make a deal. Let's get away from this company, huh? Deal. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Woo! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Woo! My friends and I uh, used to come fishing here when we were kids. When I was a child, the trees seemed taller and the river seemed wider. <laughs> Why are you here? Because. Good answer. Mm. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you know, it's really quite simple and trivial. My mother got married for the second time. And I don't like my stepfather. <laughs> He's not a nice guy. But if he suits my mom, why ruin your life on peoples? I came here. I see. So we're brothers in misfortune. My father and I were... Uh... Abandoned by my mother when I was ten years old. He never forgave her. And you? Have you forgiven her after that? I should be minding my own business. Lana! It's me, Gail! Are you asleep? Lana, please open up. Lana, please. Open up. Lana, I'm in love. Oh, so in love. With Mikey, it's amazing. I'm so happy. It's so great that we came here to this backwater. What about him? I think he is too. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry. I had to tell you that. Okay, you can go back to sleep now, honey. <laughs> I needed to share that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to go. G Gail! Huh? Mikey is a catcher. Everybody in town knows that he's already had so many girls here. <laughs> How I understand these girls. He's extraordinary. He is. Gail, can't you hear me? <laughs> That's it. Go back to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Auntie Gilly, it's me. Oh. Come in. Hi. Come in. Mm. Hello. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I bought you some Thank bread. Thank you so much. I have rheumatism. But otherwise, I'm fine. I'm healthy. Mm. So it's a false alarm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. 
Come into the room. My neighbor was just here. She brought me some fresh honey. Fragrant honey. Let me pour it for you. No, thanks. You'd better read my fortune, huh? Why do you need it? Why not? You never know there might be something scary ahead. <laughs> I can tell you from experience, you have found love. You're glowing with happiness. <laughs> Is it obvious? <laughs> you both make such a beautiful couple. Just don't let jealous people ruin it for you. I'm not afraid of that. That's the spirit. Lana, come on. You know. Be braver with the guys. Don't be shy. Otherwise, you'll be embarrassed until your old age. And if I don't like anyone, what will I do? <laughs> I don't believe that. I invited some nice guys. Meet them. Don't pass on it. Peter! He's a humble and hard worker. He earns good money. Take a closer look. Just take him for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I already made up my mind. <laughs> Is there enough cabbage for the salad? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Listen, are you going to wear this for New Year's Eve? Yes, why? <laughs> it's kind of boring and gray. You dress like a 50-year-old woman. <laughs> no offense, please. Wait, look. I'm... I'm still a gray mouse compared to you. No matter what I... No matter how I dress or what I do. Oh, come on. Don't be so puffed up. The right guy. We'll see your best sides. Uh, which sides? Okay, you're humble, smart, loyal, good looking. You're a true friend. Okay, let's see. Uh, huh? Do you like it? Look how the color suits you. It's amazing. Go change. I'll finish cutting. Go. Go, go. <clears throat> to our girls. <gasps> Cheers! 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 <laughs> Cheers to you. <laughs> I'll make a toast. Lana is so great. She's already recruited three groups. Play the music. I brought the CD. Wait. She's very nice, and the kids like her. Boys, you should take a closer look at her. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. She's great. And not only is she a good friend, she's a great person. Pete, you should take care of the girl before she's taken. Peter, don't miss your chance. <laughs> the <clears throat> yeah, I'm already. She also draws very well. You haven't seen anything like that yet. Lana, show us your pictures. Gail, please, don't. Don't what? Don't be modest. You see how modest she is? Come on, everybody wants to see them. I want to. See? Bring them over. Cheers. 
No trespassers are allowed in here. Close the door and get out of here. Sorry. Sorry. That Gale allows herself too much. It's not a date house here. She's gonna get it. I'll fire her. I don't know why you're so mad at her. She's a beautiful, smart, and cheerful girl. She's promiscuous. You can't let her near children. In about two years, she'll be out on her own, if not sooner. The whole town is talking about her affair with Mikey Shep. Oh, don't tell me about their affair. I don't understand. What is bothering you? Tell me. She's not the kind of wife Mikey needs. He needs a serious one. <laughs> Are you referring to your Lana? Yes. Why? She likes him. She's not hiding it. You are treating this girl like a gift from heaven. You know, Simon, if we had kids... If that was the case, I would have killed myself by now. You're only laughing all the time. Not a bit of sympathy for me. Mm, Kathy, don't make stuff up. We have to help the girl. A talentless girl can make it on her own, but a talent needs help. Got it? Well, there you go. Wow, is this yours? Uh-huh. Do you play? I used to play when I was a kid. I guess I don't have an ear for music. Come on. Come on, come on. It's in tune. It's very simple. I'll show you. Put uh, I remember the finger chords. here, fourth, and third. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well done, but, um, okay. this guitar is out of tune. We're about to hear that. Better not. <laughs> <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> and I'll play for you. Um. Gail, she's my friend. Gail, this is my dad. Nice to meet you. Gregory. Hello. Gosh, this is so embarrassing. Why didn't you tell me he was home? Don't mind him. Oh, I should probably go. I'm not worried. I'm off. I'll walk you Don't. out. Dad! You could have met her in a nicer way. You frightened her. Why is that? One more, or one less? Dad! You're wrong. Gail's different. I told you about her. No, I don't think so. It's written all over her face. You have to be kinder to her. Maybe I'll marry her. Marry her, marry her. But if I were you, I'd take a better look at her. Yes, I remember your instructions. You can never trust any woman. Gail is not like that. You can trust her. Your business. It's up to you. But just think about what I said. Just think about it, okay? Maybe it was you who bored mom to leave us. <sighs> He's not answering? That's not answering, and mom lost her cell phone. <sighs> yes. You know I'm not going to let you go alone this late. Let's wait a little longer. In the meantime, you can rewrite this one. Gail, are you coming home? Uh, no, I have a girl here who isn't home. We'll wait for the parent. Mm. Bye then. Bye, see you. Okay, had a girl. 
This note has two tails. Mm -hmm. You have to knock. Sorry, I didn't know you were here. Gail left me the keys, it's okay. <sighs> You're good. Learn myself. Nobody cooked for me. Oh. You know what? I don't believe it. <laughs> It's kind of quiet now. It's unusual. When we lived in the dorms at the Institute, it was usually crowded. Um, Gail is a social butterfly. Always had guys around. They came like flies on honey. <laughs> And Gail enjoyed it all. I wonder where it all went. A temporary lull, maybe? <laughs> you know... I probably shouldn't have said all that. I love Gail. And I only wish her well. Maybe I shouldn't be saying all this. My tongue is my enemy. But... I feel... sorry for you. You'll be disappointed, believe me. I don't know what happened before. And I'm not going to find out. And if you don't want me to tell Gail, get out now and stay out of my sight. You shouldn't be in here. You don't know what you are talking about, so get out here right I now. I share a room with her. You don't Please. know her at all. You don't know her at all. <sighs> Let... Let me in. Hey. Oh, I'm I had to you. go to the other end of town. I'm all wet. It's such a snowstorm. I'm sorry I couldn't come sooner. Mm. You are so warm. Come on, feed me. Mm, what have we got here? Potatoes. Lovely. Oh, I didn't wash my hands. I'll be right back. Gail. Huh? Look, uh... Let's get married. What? Are you serious right now? Absolutely. <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> Well, I'm leaving in two days. Oh, already? Already, yeah. What are we going to do now? You're going to quit your job. I have a one-bedroom apartment, but we'll find a two-bedroom. You'll get a job. Mm. Is it really that easy to get a job there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't live in the North Pole, you know. <laughs> well... I suppose I believe you. Well, mm. you are so... So what? You are so... Tell me. Extraordinary. Yeah. You too. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Come in.
Hello, Catherine. Hello. Uh, Catherine, I'm quitting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Just like that. You're quitting. That's great. There's nothing to say. <laughs> yes, that's right. Here is the application. Take it. That's no way to do business. The law says you have to work for two weeks. Two weeks? <sighs> um, there... Okay, there must be something we can do. I don't know how to help you. You could sign this form. Mike, I'm free! Yes, Catherine was a little crumpled for the sake of decorum, but she signed everything. <laughs> now, I'll run to the dormitory to say goodbye to Lana. <laughs> yes, bye. Auntie Gilly! That's so great! <laughs> I'm free! Yes, so tomorrow great. Mikey and I are leaving for Yay. his place up north. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I'm so happy for Okay, you. I gotta run. I have to pack my stuff. Go run. <sighs> Gail, uh, is something wrong? I can't find my passport. Did you search thoroughly? There's nowhere else to look. Why is that? Where could it be? Oh. Gail, listen. Gail. Gail. I heard that people steal here. It's a bad town. It's okay, you will get your papers back. Huh? You will, don't worry. It's not that long. A month tops. As soon as the passport's ready, come back to me. Lightning fast. Obviously. And you have to promise that you'll miss me. I promise. Let him say. You are late for class. Hello. Sorry, I've I've been to the police. I'm restoring my passport. There was a long line, so all complaints with the police. Hello. Hi. 
So how's it going? Good. The passport will be ready in three weeks. Ah. Uh, what? You're not happy? Lana. I'm sorry. I know I dragged you here myself, but now I'm running away. Shall we marry you off too? Huh? That's an idea. Well, Peter is very fond of you. Take him into your hands. I can help you, huh? No, I don't need it. Thanks. Well, I gotta go. Lana. Peter, hi. It's been a long time. Uh, no, just calling. Uh, uh, no. Peter, I wanted to invite you to my place. Will you come? Uh-huh. All right. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's out? You know, I don't have any friends except for you and Gail. <laughs> Gail's going away, so... Uh, maybe they won't work out. Peter. You're a good guy. I'm surprised no one has captured you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not some kind of beast to be captured. You bet. You're handsome, kind. Girls must be all over you. Mm. <laughs> hmm? To us, I noticed you right away. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I noticed you right away. Mm. You're good too. You're smart. Peter, mm. I'm crazy about you. What? Peter. Mm. Can we get married? Peter, we'll make such a good couple. I know how to make such great soups. My mother taught me everything. Peter, I'm not like those fancy girls who don't even know how to wash dishes. Pete, I'll be a very good wife. You won't have to blush me, Peter. Peter. No, Lana, stop. You're so pushy. I don't love soup. I love Gail. What? What? Gale? He loves Gale. Why do you all love Gale? Why do you all love Gale? What does she have that I don't have? What is it, Peter? Tell me! Tell me, Peter! Tell me, Peter! What does she have that I don't have? Tell me! Tell me! Nothing? Nothing what? You're good. You're the best. Are you the kidding prettiest. me? Will you stop the with the lies? The, you... the prettiest. I'm sick of these stupid fairy tales. I just don't understand. I'm the prettiest. Yeah, I get it. I'm not stupid. 
Yeah, I get Am it. I pretty? It's Gail who's beautiful. Gail is beautiful. Get it? I'm not pretty. It's Gail who's beautiful. Does it matter? It's Gail who's beautiful, it not me. All. It doesn't matter at all. I don't understand what you want from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings. It's all right. Are we friends? Friends? <laughs> Get out. Don't Get out. Mad, okay? Get out. Get out. Get out. God. Why doesn't anyone want me? Not even this idiot. <sighs> Why are you so sad? Hmm? Is it because of Peter? Are you crazy? Don't worry, we'll find you a better one. Leave me alone, don't console me. I chased them away. Hmm. Mikey. Hi. Are you back from... Are you back from work yet? What are you having for dinner? Tell me everything. I want to know everything. Of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. What talented kids you have. Yes, Catherine, today I'll finish the perspective plan. What? You're great, I said. You steer kids in the right direction. <laughs> You've got a strong hand. Do you think so? Yes. Of course. I try to follow your example. <laughs> You're doing the right thing. For example, take your friend Gail. Her group is incomplete. She's not doing much. Where is she now? You know what I mean. Talking on the phone again. You're completely different than she is, okay? You understand that? I'm serious. Trust me, Lena. <laughs> Do you really think I'm better than Gail? Of course. Sweetheart, Lana. <laughs> and you deserve the best. <laughs> Come over to my place tonight, and we'll have tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> well, what is this? What is that, a scarecrow? What's that clown smile? Just paint it. Paint it all over again. Right now. Like this. This doesn't work. Peter. Hi. Come on. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Yes, really. Sure. I'll forgive you if you... Invite me for a cafe. Hmm? I'm not going to bother you. I promise. I just got a little crazy last night and it's no big deal. <sighs> Let's just seal our friendship with a cup of cappuccino. Oh, the weather's gotten really bad. Stay the night at my place. Why should you stay alone in your dorm room? Lana is waiting for me there. Uh-huh. Your Lana won't die without you. She's old enough to have a babysitter. Aunt Gilly. She has a headache. She asked me to go to the pharmacy and buy her pills. It's like she doesn't have legs. She could have bought it herself. <laughs> I promise. I don't know. I don't like her. I don't like her. Her paintings aren't worth... What she thinks. 
and you're praising her. I don't like her at all. Of course I do. Someone has to support her. She's my best friend. She came here with me. She went because she couldn't survive anywhere alone. She had to cling to someone. She's like a creeper, <laughs> eating other people's juices. Mm -hmm. It's not about her. I don't know. You know. You know her better, of course. Here. What's wrong? Well? Say something! What happened, Gail? Tell me! Tell me! <laughs> what happened? What is it? Tell me! What is it? I was raped. By whom? I was raped! By whom? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see. He was wearing a mask. Gosh, what to do? I feel horrible. I, I can't. I feel so bad. I'm scared. Gail, Gail, get in the shower right away. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Gail, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Gail. Here's the towel. You might get some kind of infection. Or get pregnant. Gail, come on. Gail. Gail, come on. Good morning. Um, what will you do? I'll go to the police. You're not afraid? What should I be afraid of? Those dirty old men will question you and ask you for all the details. Then I have no other choice. 
So, um, you said you didn't see the rapist's face? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Lana. Lana, I ripped his shirt. That's evidence, yeah? Okay, well, do you think the police will start searching all the men in town? They'll find so many suspects at once. But there are no more traces of the crime. You... Wash them off in the shower. So, um... But it was you who told me. Gail. What was more important to you? To put the rapist in jail or to prevent a pregnancy? They might look for the rapist. Let's say for ages or something. Um, but if you get knocked up, what would happen? They'll say you lured the man in and then you didn't like him, so you decided to get rid of him? Maybe the cops won't tell, you know? But the city will laugh. Is that what you want? They will also say, it was your fault for walking around in a short skirt. Oh my god, how you've turned this around. So it's my fault now? No, Gail. No. I want you to assess this situation critically. I'm worried about you. Then what do I do? Did anyone see you? I don't know if they did or not. I don't know. I didn't have time for that. It was all so fast. Well, then keep silent. What about Mikey? Don't tell him anything, of course. No, I can't do that. Gail. Do you know how he's going to feel about this? <laughs> yeah. It was her fault. <laughs> she was wiggling her ass. Did she always cross your path? How did you live with her all this time? But, not in this case. <laughs> I have to go. I have class. Yeah, go, go. <laughs> Hello? Listen, Debbie. I have such news. So this is where you live? Hello, Gail. Auntie Gilly, what happened? I'm fine. Not you, though. How do you know? The whole town is buzzing. Our town is like a village. I see. Lana blabbed everything. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You haven't eaten anything for two days, have you? <sighs> I'm not hungry. The more you don't eat, the worse it gets. Now I'll feed you, and you'll feel better. You must eat something now. I feel better already, thank you. I take it you didn't go to the police. You should have. Why would I go there? What am I going to say? I haven't seen the face. I don't know anything.
Don't cry, sweetie. What can you do? <sighs> I'm not crying. It's Mike. Answer him. No. He's been calling for two days, and I don't know how to talk to him. I can't answer. Better to answer. No, not now. Hello, Mike? M Mikey, yes, of course. Everything is all right. Gail went to her mother's, but she left her phone at my place. Yes. She'll be back in three days. I'll be sure to tell her. You can talk to her yourself by then. Uh-huh. Goodbye, Mikey. Bye. Okay, yes. Everything will be okay. Thank you. <sighs> Everything will be all right, my dear. Everything will be fine. It's okay, really. You'll be okay. Wait, did one of our guys do it? Yeah, probably one of ours. Who? No one will admit to it. And what about her? So what? She's locked herself in her dorm and crying. What else can you do in those cases? It's a shame about the girl, of course. Who needs her now? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I don't need her either. <laughs> What's the why? What is it? It's fun to make fun of people, huh? What do you care about? I hear one more joke like that, I'll kill you. Got it? Calm down. What's it got to do with us? What calm down? Here, work. Come on, guys, relax. He's got a crush on that, Gail. Who? Let's be quiet. Now work. Work, work, let's go. came to check on you. If you need anything, I'll help. I'm here for you, Gail. No, I bumped into the sidewalk. Go away. But I'm not here for fun. I'm on your side. Can you hear me? Go away, please. All right. All right. Are you still locked up in here? Hmm? I thought we were friends. I don't understand. What are you talking about? I am your only friend. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did you tell the whole town about me? It's not me. Is that so? It must be Catherine. Catherine? You could have thought of anything. I had to justify your absence somehow. Seriously, Lana, use your head. How could you tell Catherine about what happened? You knew you would get out. Well, I'm not accustomed to lying. Seriously. And anyway, 
Stop being so depressed. You don't seem like yourself. So you got raped once. Now what? You want to lie down and die? It hurts and it stops. Just get over it, okay? <sighs> Think about what you're saying. I'm thinking about Mike. What if he finds out someone from here will tell him I'll never be able to justify myself? Well, what's supposed to happen is going to happen. And he won't need me anymore. That's fine. He's not worth of you. Stop worrying. Let's go to the disco. Life goes on. I'm not going anywhere. Everyone will be looking at me. Uh, since when are you so afraid of being the center of attention, hmm? Look, stop it. What else can I do? She doesn't want to see me. Do something about it. Cheer her up. Ask her out or something. Will she go? It depends on how you ask. I think her and Mikey are having a rupture. So, go ahead. Do it. Hello. Uh, do you have some tomato juice? Please. How you thought about going to the police? What? Over what? Because of stolen slippers? <laughs> I mean, maybe I should really write a statement. Huh? I'll give it a shot. Hello? Hi. I was just passing by. Let me help you. Oh, it's light. Come on, let me help you. Do you want to go for a walk? Take a walk? Well, yeah. The weather is nice. Well, I don't know. All right, then. Let's go. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I... I just have to take the bag back to the dormitory. Sure. Can I wait for you here? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right. I'll be quick. Yes? Mikey. Hi. Me too, yes. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> take a bite, take a bite. I made so much jam last year, and there's almost no one to eat it. Thank you. It's very good. You have a gift for making jams. I'll get you a yard. Really? Thank you. Catherine, thank you so much. You know, you are so good to me. It's very important to me. <laughs> when is Gail coming back to work? I don't know. You know, I want to ask you. Don't fire her. 
How so? She wrote the application herself. Well, the girl has a trauma. At least let her have some stability here. Otherwise, she will rush to the north. Where there is only stress. Mm. Mm. I got it. I see it's Mike. If that's what you're asking for. You weren't expecting me? Hi. Oh, we were talking about you. Yeah? All good things, I hope. How's your health? Thank you. It doesn't get any tougher. I'm here for my workbook. How... Didn't you change your mind? Why would I change my mind? I got my passport, I can leave. Well, you'll no. never know. I still wish to quit. Mm -hmm. Gail, I can't fire you. Oh, this now. Yes, did you forget we're getting ready for the regional show? And it's important for the Center for Young People's Art. And you can make a good name for yourself. And the kids are drawn to you. I can't let such a valuable employee go. Well, I haven't been at work for a week. Fire me for absenteeism. Hmm. We all know about your misfortune. We'll put you on sick leave. How's that? What sick leave? I have a friend at the clinic who can help. Oh, thank you, of course. But anyway, I can leave without your blessing. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Come on, come on! I'll think of something in a few days. I missed you very much. You came to stay here for good. No, they didn't let me, but very soon I'll be here for good. I can see you're completely frozen. I'll solve this tomorrow. I promise you. <laughs> Mike. Huh? I don't know. I need to tell you something. Gail, let's do it later. I know myself. I love you, you love me. You miss me, and I missed you. <laughs> I'm trying to have a more serious conversation. Are you turning into a hedgehog? What? No! <laughs> <laughs> you and your silly jokes. Oh, by the way, uh, did you bring your evening gown with you? No, why? I want to go out in public with my beautiful wife, so everyone can see. I'm not a wife yet. Officially, no. Well, uh, I uh, even made a reservation for us at a restaurant. How's that sound? Huh? Yeah. Come here. So what do you want to talk about? Huh? My aunt... Aunt Gilly sends regards. <laughs> well, that's very serious. Greetings to her, too. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Are you awake yet? I am. Are you? Long ago? Yeah. I was looking at you. Oh my god, it's horrible. I didn't mm. snore. <laughs> Not really. Just a bit. In that case, mm. good night. <sighs> well, we need to talk about yesterday's issue. Excuse me. What do you think? Everything suits you. Yeah? Well, am I going to freeze? <laughs> Try this one. <clears throat> well, hold on. Huh? What? 
Oh no, don't. Gail, if I offer it, I can pay for it. Take it off. Take it off, take it off. <sighs> All right. Mm-hmm. Here. Mm-hmm. You won't freeze in this one. I'm sure of it. Mm. Mm. You like it? <laughs> it's beautiful. But the other one's good too. Saving the family budget? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike. It's just that no one has ever given me such expensive gifts. Get used to it. Not to strangers' gifts, but you can get used to mine. <laughs> Anything for the woman I love. <laughs> what? Mm, thank you. Mm. Hello? Hey there. Hi. What are you doing? I am making you lunch. Oh, good job. <laughs> Atta girl. Can you wait for me? Oh, okay. Just don't be too late. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's delicious. Eat, eat. Why aren't you eating? I ate while I was waiting for you. Mm. Gail, are you not feeling well? Mm, no, I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I probably just have a cold. Mm. I've got some cranberry juice. You want some? No, I don't. Thank you. Don't worry, okay? I'll be fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anything, I'll go to the drugstore. I made you some more potatoes and patties, so you finish your soup. Then you'll have a hot dish. Go. Hello? Gail? What happened? Why are you crying? Because everything's terrible. Honey, it's that Mikey again. What did he do to you? There's no one to whip him? It has nothing to do with him. I just don't know what to do. I still... Haven't said anything. I'm afraid, you know, that he won't understand at all. I'm so confused. I'm so scared. What should I do? What should I do, Auntie Gil? What should I do? Sweetie, tell me. Tell me what it is. We'll think of something together, I promise. I'm sorry, Aunt Gail. I can't talk anymore. He'll be here soon. I'll call you later, but don't worry. Thank you. <sighs> Goodbye. 
<sighs> oh dear. <sighs> you and I are like an old married couple. I like it. Me too. Mm -hmm. What shall we watch now after a long hard day? I don't know. Let's do some comedy. Listen, Gail. Yes? Are you all right? Yeah. It's strange. There's no fever. But there's something wrong with you. It's just a cold, a little bit of chills, that's all. I'll just rest and it'll go away. No, I definitely don't like that. You don't? Maybe I should call a doctor. No, I already took the pill. I'll just sleep for a little while. Everything's fine, okay? Mm. You can't leave in that condition. I'm going anyway. Did you check the tickets? Yes, everything's in place. Check again. Tickets, passport, you never know. Mikey. You've become so absent-minded. Okay, tickets, what? passport, what? What? everything is here, you see? Gail, huh? maybe you shouldn't go, huh? I have to. She has to. I don't understand you. Why do you need this workbook? Why all these formalities? And why do you need a job at all? You don't think that I make enough money for the both of us? Well, I'll do everything quickly and come straight to you. Mm hmm. Come on. Mm, come on, we have to hurry. Are you sure? Maybe it's Mikey's baby. Unfortunately, I'm sure. You poor thing. You won't tell Mikey, will you? Huh? No, no, I'm afraid. Get over your fear. Look what happens to people. No. I'm already so confused. If... If you lie once, you'll have to lie again. One lie after another. And then you can't tell what's true. It's always better to tell the truth. If not, things will only get worse for you. Tell me, will Mikey leave me? What will I do? Oh, who knows? Maybe he will, maybe he won't. No one knows what he will do but himself. I hate this baby. I hate it. He's going to ruin my life. <sighs> well, it's not the whole life yet. No. I will have an abortion. You've made up your mind? Yes. Let him say. So it's an abortion after all? Yes. Take the tests. Come back for your appointment. <sighs> we'll do it this week. Thanks. See ya. Mm hmm. As you should know, I've already coordinated everything with the fifth school. They'll give you an auditorium for your exhibition. And then we will deal with the AIDS call. I think that maybe we should put people on duty at Breezes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. With 
Without you, I would have never organized my exhibition. You're talented. And you need help. How about that? I made it myself with apples. It's delicious. You're not only a great organizer, but you're also a good cook. <laughs> well, I cook sometimes. Yes, I was also thinking we should organize an article in our local paper. Pictures, interviews, and not just one, but you know, the level is low. Um, uh, do you think um, I should go to the regional level, hmm? Uh, after all, for an artist to be noticed, you need a great resonance in newspapers. Sure. We'll keep pushing you through. I am not going to rest until I get it right. We'll make a start out of you. <sighs> okay. I will paint our CTC in Apple Blossom. A big canvas with you in the foreground. <laughs> hmm. Well, don't. We have to. We have to. You're our leader. You got this thing off the ground. <sighs> yes, that's right. What I got from the last principal. Mm. You, you have your own talent. That, that's rare. Mm. That's true. I also wanted my husband to have a hand in this. He's my deputy director of the district. He can do a lot. <gasps> Let him help, Lana. Just draw. Look at that. Gail is late again. Knock, knock. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? You weren't mm. at work today. Catherine's furious again. I don't give a damn about her. You don't care, but I have to take care of both of us. I'm sorry. Gail, I'm sorry is not enough. Hmm? You never told me about your trip. You didn't tell me anything. Did you have a fight? No, no, everything's okay. What's the matter with you? Are you sick? No, no, I'm okay. It's a little chilly. Hmm. I see. Had fun up in the north? <laughs> Lana, are you jealous? No way. I'm respected here. Put some mustard pills for the night and drink milk with honey. I don't have any honey. No? No. I don't have any either. No honey then. <laughs> Knock if you need me. Can I help you? I'm looking for Gail Staros. She's not at home. And she's not answering her phone. What do you want from her? It's my business. I'm just worried about her. She's not here. She was taken by an ambulance to the hospital yesterday with short-term pneumonia. She showed up totally unwell to infect children. There's always something with your Gail! They've got a lot of nerve, not even a hello. It's like a courtyard, not a school. Oh, how could this have happened to you? You are a very healthy girl. The doctor said it was stress. Does Mikey know? No, and I won't call him. You can't hide it. 
I conceal the rape. The disease is nothing. Can I come in? Come in, come in. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? Mm, I'm fine. Um, I, I brought tangerines. Do you like them? No. But thank you anyway. Come on, now that you've brought it. They're juicy. Here. So what do the doctors say? It's no big deal. Uh -huh. Well, you just take care of yourself. Don't get nervous. Uh, you'll get better soon. I'll come back later, okay? Thanks for stopping by. How could I not come? Well, some can't. Oh, like who? Lana. Well, she has an exhibition. All right. I, I better go. All right? Get better. I'll go then. Okay, be careful. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Your friend is kind of rotten, you know. Peter? No, he's not. Peter is good. He's shy and very much in love with me. He knows you don't love him, so why go, huh? You're only feeding his hopes. I pity him, Auntie Gilly. Pity. Ugh. <sighs> Hello, sweetheart. Hi, honey. <gasps> well, this is the girl I told you about. This is Lana. And this is my husband, Wade. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Catherine has told me so much about you. Uh, please. Wait, Lana is such a talent. Uh, yeah. You agree, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. You have to do everything please. you can. Everything mm -hmm. you can. Get to know each other. So, what have I got here? I applied for the Young Talent Contest. Newspaper article, photography. I called Paul Kutz from the regional office yesterday. He said that everything is under control. Well, wait, you remember Paul, don't huh? you? He is the man. Oh, yeah, he yes. He keeps his yes. worth. Mm. Oh, there's more. We will push the girl through, make mm. her a star. She will be... A second Picasso. <laughs> right? What do you think of my Napoleonic plan? Very funny. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Excuse me, where are you going? Get back to your room. I need to make a phone call. Just look at you and your feet and there you go. You should have your own phone. My battery died a long time ago. And there's no one to bring me a charger. Whatever. Go to your room. Um, let me call from your cell. I'll ask him to bring it and I won't bother you anymore. Do it quickly. Thank you. I'll be quick. <laughs> Hello? Mike, hi. Um, I'm fine. Honestly, I feel good. I, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
This is for you. Get well. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Gail. You're overtraining me. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Hi. Uh, where are you going? Hi. I'm checking out. What? Already? It hasn't been so long. It's only been a month. Gail, don't be angry. If you only knew how busy I am right now. Not a minute to spare. I met Catherine's husband. He's such a world-class geezer. He's helping me get ahead. <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You can't do that now. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. What took you so long, Gail? It's too late now. Sorry. I don't understand. <sighs> when were you born? In the 18th century. Now you have all the information at your fingertips, the internet, television. Your term is long. They don't do abortions at that age. Uh, wait, but it wasn't my fault. I got sick. I wasn't I hospital. understand, but I can't do anything to help. help. Here's the thing. If it turns out that the baby is sick or the mother herself carrying the baby risks herself, then it's another conversation. But so far I haven't noticed anything. Oh, so you don't think I'm risking anything? I advise you to accept this fact as early as possible and leave all bad thoughts behind. While there's still time, set yourself up for good. That way, the child will be cheerful and calm. <laughs> Do you understand, Gail? You don't understand anything. You sit in your office in white coats and you can't do anything. Listen, did you see the line in the hallway? You are not alone, there are a lot of you. <sighs> what happened now? I'm pregnant. From Mike? No. And it's too late to have an abortion. What? What do you heard? It can't be. What shall I do, Lena? What shall I do? What shall I do? Uh, nothing. Well, think of something. I won't leave you alone. We will fix this. Mike, hi! It's Lana, hi! Did you recognize me? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> no. I'm just congratulating you. Don't you know? Congratulations on what? Didn't Gil say she was pregnant? She didn't? No. Oh, I'm out of line again. She must have been preparing a surprise for you. I'm sorry. Bye. <sighs> Hello? Hello, Gail. Hi. I know everything. Why didn't you tell me? 
Hello, I... I couldn't. I... You know how much I want kids. I even bought a stroller. And why didn't you say anything? Gail. Mike. Wait. Wait for what? I'm bursting with happiness. You have no idea. I'm really happy. Mike, listen to me, please. Gail, my love. I already told the guys at work and the boss. He promised to expand my living space. Can you imagine? And I bought a locomotive. I know it's too early. I could only dream of that when I was a kid. Mike, it's not like that. Please listen to me. I'm begging you. Well, what? Mike, look. Honey, it's not like that. It's Kosh Mike. It's not your baby. What? Mike, it, it's not your baby. Who's then? I don't know, Mike. I, listen, please. This is not a phone conversation. How do you not know whose child it is? Please, just... I don't know how to tell you this. It's very difficult. Please believe me. I feel horrible. I want to see you. I need to talk to you personally. Understand it's not my fault. Honestly, please, just don't hang up. I beg you. Listen to me, please. Mike! And I keep looking for you, and here you are. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't expect... Look, I didn't even think that you... What's the matter? Is that him? That idiot? <laughs> Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, I'll tell that idiot everything! Wait, 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 wait! Stop it! Let me go! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Get away! Stop it! Wait, 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 wait! No! Do you want me to kill him? Do you want me to kill him? Don't, don't, don't go away! I love you! Let please, please, go. don't go! go please, don't go! I love you! <laughs> You'll be mine! You will always be mine! You're no. mine! Ugh. You're gonna be fine. You're a fool. Peter, why would she need your declarations of love now? Did you think she would fall on your chest out of joy? I wasn't thinking at all. That's your problem. You weren't thinking. So just be grateful that you have me. I'll help you. Ouch. Patience. Take your hand away. Or I'll crush it. So, Cheeky, what do you want? Would you tell me what you wanted from me, hum? Help me, please. I love Mike. I am no help to you in this matter. I will not put my son in this situation, understand? I need to talk to him. I need to explain everything to him. He thinks I cheated on him, but you know that- I don't know anything. The whole entire city- Listen to me, I don't collect gossip. 
You know that he feels bad too. He doesn't want to listen to me. He won't pick up the phone, but he will listen to you. That's it. Go away. I've heard enough of you. Go now. And don't you think you're going to pity me with your sobbing? Uh, but please... I told you to go away! Just hear me out, please! I said go now! Is it because of your contempt for me that you are willing to ruin your son's life? Don't you dare doubt my love as a father! He will get over it. He'll find a better girl for him. That's it. That's it. No one is irreplaceable, you know? Goodbye. All of you. Sooner or later, show your nature. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's me. Don't you get tired of being humiliated? I know where you went. Didn't you just do the same thing yourself? When you love, you always humiliate yourself. I want to help you. What can you do for me? I was told you were pregnant. You really don't understand Yes, anything. I do. I understand perfectly. Look. I love you. Stand up. Wait. Let me speak. I love you more than my life. I would do anything for you. Wait, well, wait, wait. stand up, please, stand up. Marry me. I'm asking you please to marry me. I don't care whose baby you're carrying. Mine or anyone else's. I don't care. I love you just the way you are. Do you know that? I simply can't live without you. I would do anything for you. I promise you, you will be with me. You will be happy. I will do anything to make you happy. You will regret it. Never. I will never regret it. I will love you. I will protect you, all for you, on my life for you, I swear to you. Well, take it. Well, do you want to leave here? Marry me and we'll get out of here. Do you want to get out of here? Very. Then we'll leave. I promise you. Dad! Hi! Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Huh? Uh, you turned off your phone. You're hiding from the world. You don't even want to see me. Dad, I want to see you. Mm. Whoa! This is heavy. What are you saying? It's a treat from the village. Jams, pickles, mushrooms. Friends are coming over later. I won't get in the way. I'll take a walk You're around You're not in town. the way. You know, you were right about bras. Mm -hmm. No woman is worth losing your freedom for. I live alone and I'm fine. I even learned how to make dumplings. What? Gail is getting married. Uh, who's the guy? Mike, I think that maybe we're wrong. Maybe it's not what we imagined, you know? No, it's settled. My decision's final. Talk to her. 
it won't kill you. So you don't regret lost opportunities. Maybe I screwed up. My own life, with my stupid pride. If you love her, talk to her. Now think about it. Today, Auntie Gilly, I will be the most beautiful and happiest bride you'll see. I'm done. The tears are over. <laughs> I think you're rushing into it. Rushing in? Everyone will see my belly soon. And I'm tired of crying. That's enough. Mike will never forgive me anyway. Who is he anyway? It's okay, it's okay. My dear, your mascara is going to run. You're going to be the prettiest girl at the wedding. I will. <sighs> as long as the baby is born healthy, the rest is unimportant. You know, Peter wasn't as bad as I thought he was in the beginning. Why did it happen? Why did it happen, Auntie Gil? <sighs> if people knew that, everyone would be happy. It's all right, it's all right. You'll get through this grief with Peter. Well, Gail, are you ready? What a beauty. Peter was trying to see you. I told him he can't see the bride before the wedding. It's bad luck. Am I right or what? <laughs> Come on, finish. We're going to the registry office soon. I can't see him. And I can't see her. You'll be fine, I promise. I forgot the flowers. Huh? Thank you. Hello? Peter. Alarm 911. Mike has arrived. Hello, Mikey. Why are you so rude? It's been a long Business. time. Business. Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Move aside. Gosh, are you still not over her? <sighs> You hate her, don't you? I love her very much. She's my friend, and I only wish her well. Oh, hello. Huh? 
I wonder how you talked her into it. No way. She chose me. Get over it. And it's up to me to get over it or not. Come on, let me through. Look, she needs me. She's expecting my baby. Our baby. Is this true? Yes. Look in the window. How happy she is. Do you want to ruin everything? You're only thinking about yourself. Go back to your place and forget about her. You got it? And don't you dare come back. <gasps> Mike! Mike, wait! Mike. Mike, I love you. I have always loved you. I have loved you since I met you, unlike Gail. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You don't love anyone. You're a jerk. I hate you. Finally, I thought you'd run away. Never. Uh, Pete, what happened? Nothing. It's okay. It's fine. What happened? It's okay. Mm. Oh, Gail. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> he brought her with someone else's child and she's not even talking to us. Proud? What's there to be proud of? Tell me about it. Oh, he's gonna have a hard time with her, don't you think? Shut up now. What's this about? I'm in the house. I didn't ask you to discuss my personal life, just because I'm living here for the moment. That's okay with us. We didn't say a word against her. It's my wife, and I demand respect for her. And bite your tongues. Oh, come on, come on, don't get mad. I'm sorry. They're actually kind. It's okay, don't worry. When I get my paycheck, we'll rent our own apartment. Okay. Lana, it's me. Yep. Don't worry. Uh huh. <clears throat> uh, an answer came from the bridge. What happened? It was from the director of the exhibition hall. Yes? So? Well, people don't understand anything about art. Rejected me? Um, they say you can only put that out in schools, but not for their auditorium. They're total idiots. I, I don't understand it. Shaming snobs. No, no normal person would ever buy what they have on display there and hang it on the wall. So in their opinion, I'm not an artist. Well, yes, they said she should continue teaching art lessons at school. Lana, you know that. You're still our star. Don't touch me, Lana. A star. Why is it that you take it so personal? Those idiots. We will complain. I know someone at the original office. I have all this context. How will that help? That they don't know anything. 
Lan, you have to make art. You can't bury your talent in the ground. I've never been acknowledged. Never. Yes, I acknowledge you. You? Who are you? You're nobody in the art world. They won't listen to you. Lana, but I, I've already done so much what? for you. What? What did you do? I could have hung it at school myself. All your efforts are not worth anything. You are just in shock right now. You don't know what you're saying. Uh, I'll still make it. They'll all be sorry. Lana. Lana! Oh my goodness. Why are you looking at me? What are you looking at? I don't understand. I don't. Are you judging me? What are you judging me for? Hmm? So, you think I married Peter because I couldn't cope with my problems, is that it? What do you care? What's it got to do with you? I don't understand. Please, can't you see he loves me? In fact, you know what? Take care of yourself. I'm sick of this. Did you have a fight today? Is it true what she told me today? What did she tell you? It doesn't matter what she said, I love her. I'm not going to leave her. I'm not judging you. I pity the girl. I pity you too. You won't be happy, she doesn't love you. You know, don't feel sorry for me. I might be the luckiest one among you. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what they say. One can grow to love. Is that right? That's right. God willing. In fact, let's consider this child mine. All right. Peter. I can't. Peter. Oh. Oh. Look, 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 look. What happened? Oh. Call an ambulance, quick! I what happened? What happened? Are you okay? Oh, help me. Shh, shh. Mm. Call the ambulance! Peter, you're still upset. Cheer up, Pete. Don't take it so hard, Gail is alive and well. And that's all that matters. And the baby died. Maybe it's better this way. It could have been born sick. How much medicine did she take while she was ill? Pete, why do you need it? God had it just right. How do you know what's right and wrong for me? Tell me. 
Where'd you get the right to judge, huh? <laughs> you drove her Please to it. stop it! Because of you, evil wenches! She went into <laughs> premature labor! It's all because of you! Just get out of here! I don't need you! Go away now! Well then, this is where we're going to live. Do you like it? <laughs> what do you think? No. Not so much, but I'm not going to be picky. It feels like I lifted a stone off my chest. I was afraid you'd leave me. Give me that. Why are you doing that? Wait, you don't know how. Oh. I'll show you how to do it. <gasps> that is so pretty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where are you guys going? <gasps> oh, the girls and I are going for a walk. Would you take me with you? Are you a girl too? <laughs> well, I keep you company. <laughs> you, sweetie, are such a keeper. <laughs> exactly. I can't keep quiet if I have to. I want to talk about her womanly stuff. Why should you listen to this? Darling, you better stay home. You're very tired after work. I did not cook you dinner, but I think that you will find something in the fridge. You be a good boy. <laughs> hey, Gail. Huh? Why don't you stay home? No way. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Hey, follow me, girls. Let's go. Come on. We gotta go. Come on. <laughs> Wait up. Wait up. Let him say. That is so good. Well, girl, you've tamed your guy. Oh, I can't. He's such a sissy. Mm. I don't understand you, Gail. Why are you still living with him? He is a good oh, man. A bit is convenient. If I had such a man, he would bring me money into the house, and he wouldn't say a word but against he's me. he's boring. Oh. Come on. He's not boring. He's good. Okay, I agree. He's good as long as you still live with him. But agree, Gail. He's a wimp. No. It's just that he loves me. And I don't. Alright, girls. Enough of you gossiping about beat. Look at the men! <gasps> Look at that. Hey, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, Look at those three girls. Hi. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Who are Hello, you? Hello, ladies. Hello. You weren't expecting us by any chance? <laughs> um, maybe we were. We'll see. <laughs> are you from the police? Don't I have to show you my papers? <laughs> Not yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Your friends are so much fun. Why are you so serious? I'm always like this. Mm. And what's your name? Gail. Gail. I'm back. And you are? Elvira. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Elvira. George. Hello. How about a drink, huh? Yes? Oh, sure. Uh. 
something to drink? Uh-huh. <laughs> Why, Gail, you're so beautiful and so sad. I can cheer you up. So, would you like to hang out sometime? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm married. <sighs> you know, so am I. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, I'm married, so we're even. <laughs> Be right back. Well, here's to the meeting. <laughs> well, cheers. Uh, cheers, girl. Oh. Mm. Cheers, cheers to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, mm. cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You're just lovely, Gail. Come on, cheers. Atta girl. <clears throat> it's all right, it happens. <laughs> Let's kiss. To... to meeting us. Gail, would you mind if I took your body away? Yes, you're Let's welcome go. to use it. Karaoke, yes. thank you, you're a real friend. Goodbye. <laughs> I love, love you. you. Give me your hand. Let's go. Have ball. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Are we taking my car or your car? Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. Drive. Oh, okay. You know how to sing? Because oh, I sing so yeah, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I prove it to you. You've been drinking a lot. Maybe you should get another job. I've already changed ten of them. Are you <laughs> going to nag me in the morning? No, well, Gail, that's not it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Come on, just say it. I'm late for work. Sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? I'm sorry for... starting this conversation. Why are you so good? Why are you so good? Why are you so good? Come on, say something! Say something to me after all, come on! Say something! I make fun of you and you just stand there and say nothing, it's unbearable. What? It's driving me crazy, okay? Well, it's not. It's not what? It's not what? I hate you, I just hate you! Gail, Gail, wait. I understand how hard it is for you. I don't know, let's get away from here to some regional town. I'll get a construction job there and I've got my eye on our department. Please forgive me. I beg you, forgive me, please. You're right. Yes, you're right, let's, let's go. Do you hear me? Yes, let's leave. Yeah, yeah. Please forgive it's me. It's alright, it's alright.
the big news is that Mikey's father died the other day, and Mikey is coming to the funeral, and he's going to have to deal with the apartment problem. He might end up staying for a week. Are you home? Of course. Where else should I be? Well, I was just asking. Why are you sitting so mysteriously? Did something happen? It did, Peter. Auntie Gilly's very ill. I have to go and see her. Yes, of course you will. We'll move to a new apartment and you'll go see her. No. Not at all. It's just... The old lady is too weak. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. How? Like that? <laughs> That's what I decided. I'm sorry I didn't consult with you, but she's already waiting and I've already ordered a car for the furniture. It's no big deal. Go alone for now, and I'll come back later. Um, I'm really worried about her. I'm going tomorrow morning. It's been decided. Oh. What is there to tell? <laughs> we live a good life. There's nothing to tell. <laughs> so it's bad if there's nothing to tell. Why is it bad? It's... It's just not working out for us. How is Lana doing? She doesn't call or write. <laughs> Your Lana turned into a fancy businesswoman. She transferred to work in the district office. She's so serious. The city gave her an apartment. Can you believe that? Wow, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? When she's having an affair with Catherine's husband. Is that so? Auntie Gail, is it true? <laughs> and Catherine? Catherine doesn't know about it, and she's still looking after Lana. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that from her. Wow. Tell me my fortune. Oh. You've never told me. All right, let's do it. Take a card. What? Give it to me. Okay. Ah. Mike! Mike! Oh, wait. And Gilly. <laughs> Hi. Hello, my sweetie. Let's go. Let's okay, go. come on. Ooh! <laughs> oh. Oh. Mike! Mike, you must have forgotten. You promised to fix my window sash. The latch has fallen off. No. Uh, a win? Well, uh... Right now it's fine. Okay, great. Nice, thank you. It only takes go a minute. Go ahead, here are the keys. Go. Uh -huh. Go, you? go. I'm off to the welfare office now. So Auntie Gill didn't send me here for the window sash, the old schemer. 
I didn't ask her to. Are you sure? Why are you standing there? Go. I'll decide if I go or not. Did you come with your husband? Alone. Hmm. Why is that? None of your business. It used to be mine. <laughs> it used to. Are you happy? Extremely. You're lying. Of course I'm lying. Of course I'm lying. What are you seeing him anyway? Are you kidding me? Me? Mike, you gave up on me yourself. I gave up on you? Yes. No, I didn't give up on you. It's my own fault, I know. But my own fault is that I couldn't tell you anything. I was scared, you know. How, 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 how could I tell you that? I didn't know how you would react at all. How you would behave. I was really scared. I don't understand what you couldn't tell me. Well then tell me, I'm listening. That I didn't cheat on you. That I was raped, that I got pregnant. Well, well. Wait, how? What do you mean, raped? Just don't. Don't pretend you didn't know anything. No, I didn't know anything. Who was it? Who? I don't know, okay? Auntie Gil, you're stuck on the bench. <laughs> You've been sitting here for a long time. <laughs> I'm just getting some air. Uh -huh. It's good for your health. <laughs> you're all I stop. Go home. <laughs> what am I missing at home? I'll sleep better if I get some fresh air. <laughs> well, I'll be going then. Bye now. So it's not Peter's child. No. <laughs> So he lied to me, that idiot. Who? Peter, that's who. But when? When you married him, I came to the registry office. I was there. How? How you were there? Why didn't I know? Why didn't you come to me, Mike? How did you know about the pregnancy? Lana called me. With the good news. Lana? That friend of yours. She even hit on me. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <sighs> mm. What fools we are. All the trouble we made.
What, guys? Not fighting? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and Gilly, why didn't you tell me anything? Mike, it's not my secret. Okay, Gail is confused. Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> well, Mike, how did I know that you didn't know before? And your father probably knew, but he didn't my tell me. My father is another story. All right. And he's no longer here. All right. Stop opening up old wounds. Come on, let's go and have some tea. I'm freezing here. I bought some gingerbread. I'll be right back, oh, okay? <laughs> Yes. Hello? Hello, Lana. Hello, Gail. How are you? Have you decided uh, to come and visit us? That's rare. Mm -hmm. I stopped by to check on you. See how you're doing. Though, what's the point? I can tell you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what about you? Working in schools and recreation clubs? And I thought we were friends. Of course! Then why are you like this? <laughs> Gail, like what? That's enough, Lena. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know everything. <laughs> what do you know? I didn't do anything. Only sometimes I shared things with Catherine. But it's not my fault, you know. She's a newsmonger. How could I have been so wrong about you? <laughs> Are you disappointed? You. <laughs> You're so disgusting. Oh. <laughs> I only wanted the best for you. I did everything for you to make you feel good. <laughs> you did. You did everything for me. What did you do? Who asked you? Who asked you? Who? You can't even imagine what it's like to be second always. Gail Starro's girlfriend. You try to dress me up in your old clothes you wanted to throw away. Isn't that right? And the boys. Guys, that you didn't need at all. Who did you give them to? Me. You gave them to me. So you did everything for me? Lana. Lana what? What? I've been wanting to tell you this for so long. I heard you. Good for you. What him? Mm. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, put me down immediately. Hmm? <laughs> Everyone's watching, mm. please. <laughs> they're watching and they're jealous. <laughs> put me on the ground. Hello, Peter? Hi. How are you? Are you well? We're still friends, aren't we? 
You know, then I just have to warn you. Mike's in town. And he and Gail are back together. Great. I am so glad that you are blooming again. <sighs> That's what love does to a person. <laughs> Auntie Gail, I've decided to divorce Peter. Because of Mikey? No. Because of myself. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I support you in this. How long can you live with someone you don't love? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Are you waiting for someone? No. Who's there? Look who's here. Oh, wow. So you have already recovered, I see. Well, hello. We started a new life, you know? A new life. Pete, that's my decision. Take your hands off me, please. You're hurting me. I'm sorry. No, I won't give consent. It doesn't matter anymore. You can resist, of course, but a divorce is only a matter of time. So please, I ask you to accept and let go. Are you cheating on me? What does it matter? Yes or no? Yes. I will kill him. Pete, stop it. What are you talking about? You have to calm down. We'll see. <laughs> You know, I also want to change the yes. chandelier here mm -hmm. and repaper the wallpaper. Uh, okay. Do you like light green? Me? What's that got to do with me? How? I don't understand. You live here. You decide. Wait. What about you? <sighs> I'm tired. I thought we decided. Is that so? Uh -huh. Did someone invite me? You need an invitation? I invited you. What do you say? <laughs> so tell me. Come on. No. I'm thinking. You're thinking? Mm -hmm. Think. Oh, beat again. He won't stop. Hello? Uh, no, wrong number. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah. That's me? What? Yeah, I'll be right there. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm, what happened? Peter is in a serious condition. There was some kind of accident at the construction site. He's in the hospital, I have to Wait! Go. Why would you go? What do you mean, why? He needs me now. I need to be with him. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. Go on, then. No, I can't do that. No, I understand. You are you. It's the only way you can be. Go on. Hello. Uh, 
Hello. May I? Come in. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Only my head hurts and I can't feel my arms. It's like I'm not a person at all. It hurts. I can't remember a thing. How did this happen? The concrete slab came off. They barely got me out. Listen, how's Auntie Bill? Is she recovering? Yes. Good. And the apartment is gone. I didn't even have time to move our stuff. Don't worry, you... You will get better soon. No, don't worry about it. I'll get better and we'll find an apartment right away. I promise I'll get you out of here as I promised. I won't always be this helpless. Good afternoon. How is our patient? He seems to be alive. And I think he's much better than he was. Your wife is here. <clears throat> so, we'll put you in her hands. Uh, how come? How come? We discharged him. We cured him as best as we could. Now we have to let the body heal on its own. Take your hero. I'll leave you two alone. Doctor. No. Uh, he shouldn't go. He can't walk yet. It's all nonsense. Uh, everything will happen in time. Vitamins for him. Rest. And no stress. He'll be fine. Doctor. My wife is the best medicine. I don't know what I would do without her. Seriously. I believe you. Goodbye now. Get well. Goodbye. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Another spoonful. Mm -hmm. You must. No talking. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ah, that was mm -hmm. fast. That's the spirit. Mm. <laughs> You're so caring. You will make such a good mother one day. I'll get better. Surely we'll have kids, won't we? I'll be... I'll be a very good father. A caring father. I'll even change diapers. You'll see, I know how Peter. to deal with tots. Peter, why are you acting? Like... Everything is still the same between us, hmm? Has anything changed? You don't... Don't you remember? No. I don't remember. Maybe... I don't know. I hope you get better and remember. The Go doctor ahead. told me not to worry, and you... What was that? Tell me. Who is it? What? Uh, oh, never mind. Um, the office called me. Didn't you take nursing leave? What's going on? What is it? Huh? You did good. Mm, you ate well. That means you've got an appetite and you'll recover quickly. I'm just... I'm just gonna run to the store and get some groceries for dinner, okay? Wait, you're not going to leave me alone for long, are you, honey? Don't worry, I'll be right back. Hello, hello. What, he still hasn't recovered? 
No, he's very weak. Uh, and he continues to play husband and wife? He does. I'm afraid to say anything to him. The doctor warned me not to stress him. We will just have to wait. We've been waiting for a month. I can't wait any longer. I'm coming for you. No, Mike, please don't. Do you beat him? No. I'm afraid I'm going to screw it up. Look, we've waited three years. What's a couple of weeks? Hmm? Another week at the most. He'd better not throw a tantrum. You're not his nurse. I wanted to know when to expect improvement. I can tell. I'm just the doctor, not God. But it's been so long. Uh, how long does it usually take a person to recover from such well, injuries? Well, it depends. But I'm actually surprised myself. Your husband's tests and x-rays are both good. It's about time he got up. Then what is it? Maybe he needs another treatment or medication? Hmm, I think here comes the psychological factor. A person doesn't resist a disease. He just doesn't allow himself to get better. Do you understand? Yes, you have to avoid stressful of situations. Of course. And vitamins. More vitamins. Don't make any excuses. I had to lie to you. I didn't have a choice. When did you start walking? Well, listen, I had to. I didn't want you to go. Give it back. All right, I can live without things. You wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> this time we're wrong. <laughs> uh, let me go. I said let me go. Are you gonna hit me? Come on, hit me. Hit me. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Come on. If you leave, I'll kill myself. Yeah? Hmm? Kill. Kill. Do it. Why are you standing there? While I go. Me... You were gonna oh, stay here. Uh, stay there. Uh, let me go. Stay. Stay still. Stop it. No. You're hurting me. Uh, Come on! Uh, let go of me! Stay still! Uh, 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 no! no! Stop it! Uh, stop it! Get off! Uh, 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 stop uh. it! Uh, uh. 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 I hate you! Uh. I hate you! How could I live with you? You but didn't know much about like. me, but Lana saw right through me. She was the one who suggested I take you by force. Instead of reasoning with you, it was me who raped you. I did it. It was my baby you were carrying. I suffered all that. Do you hear? I suffered too. Do you hear? I suffered. I suffered so much. What did you say? What did you say right now? How could you? Uh, uh, I hate you! You'll never see me again!
going to kill him. I really hate that guy. Mike! Don't touch me! Please calm down. Don't tell me to please, calm- Please, Mike, please. Mike, Mike, stop it. What? What do you want? There you are. I knew just what to find you. What happened? Peter. Peter what? My poor Peter. Peter died. Died how? He was killed by a car. Immediate death. It was... It was you. It's your fault. Do you hear me? You've ruined such... Such a holy... Holy man. And remember, Go. may you never have peace. May you never have peace. I hope you're hearing me. Lana! Lana! Is she out? No, Lana's here. She didn't leave. Oh, that's strange. Lana, open up! It's me, Catherine! Are you alright? What happened? Lana? She didn't come out, you said. Lana, open the door! We have to break down the door. Something must have happened. Well, try to do something. Why are you standing there? Lana. Lana, what is it? Come on, honey. I was so worried about you. Hello, Kathy. Uh, um, uh, I'll be quick. Uh, I'll clean up. How could you do this? You, what? What are you doing? I treated you, I treated you like a daughter. I didn't ask for that. I'll fire you, I'll fire you. Hands off. Hands off! <laughs> I'll go to the police department. I know people there. They will fire you for indecency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. You will regret you ever came here. I still can't believe that this is all happening to me. I love you so much. I love you too. Do you know how much? Mm, I have a guess. Doesn't your wedding involve a bride kidnapping? I don't know. Any plans? Lana! Oh, Lana! Hey! Lana! Come join us! Come here! We have champagne! Come! Come on! Come here! Come on! Woo! Woo! Asko, kanishizni, yavnyom, ne utanu, no raz. 
зальюсь Мокрая искра я мир не перешью Новый билет не выучу, значит куплю я есть А может нет, а может, а может Жизнь век за веком прячется Среди разных созвучий, если там не будет Света, не зачем себя так мучать, но ведь еще света близко не ищи, понимания нет, у мне не страшно, что тучи так низко, я обещаю передавать приветы дождем, я упаду и разобьюсь осколками жизни.